the direction of the group. Yet, also clever behavior. I also <coughs> observed from body language only that you were leaning in very much and mm. trying to, let's say, be heard. I would say that it was a group of all generations, and they achieved two results. They achieved, as soon as they became ready with their program, they started to talk about themselves. And that became a <coughs> comfort for them. And you can see even the expression, they felt very well and ready to be presented. Okay. Great. So great input from everybody. And the reason, I'll, the reason I let the judges or the observers <coughs> just be random people from the audience without interacting with each other is because one thing I have noticed in team behavior, and one thing I've noticed also with the teams here, is that when a team feels like a team, specifically when there becomes a leader, or when there is someone who is a bit more loud than the others, or more agile with words than the <coughs> someone who speaks more, influences the rest. If everybody works in silent deliberation, then the results are usually more neutral, and you come up, you have more input, and you use the brain power of each individual member much better. Because we all know that there are many, many lone geniuses, from Socrates and Plato over Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, to Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and the likes, lone geniuses, but we still believe Teams and groups, no more. Now, teams and groups are usually like board members of a company ready for disaster. Because a team has come to a conclusion and they stick to it. This has to do with human behavior. When we are trying to think something, we follow that idea, and our result will be actually based on what we, what we heard in the beginning, which is why Usually, the first person who speaks up in teamwork becomes almost the unspoken leader and will prime the others to come to a result. Team A and Team B. The team A got a green card for me with what was on it, Yoletta? With your inspirational sentences. They were, of them. they were examples of quotes about teams. Because I wanted Team A to have prior knowledge about quotes about teams and go in that direction. Which means that team A was actually primed by me to come to their conclusion. And their conclusion was really about, they used orchestra and the individual members of the orchestra. The quotes were about uh, sports and how the individual members in, in the sports team can only be, be, uh, win a, a, a game when they play together. So you guys used to play together, which I intended to come to. The interesting thing is that we as human beings, we always use what's readily present. Let's imagine women, there's many women here, who <laughs> likes to, sh to buy shoes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> Imagine you're in the office and your colleague has really great shoes and you need shoes for, for a party the next week so you need to go shopping for shoes. Your colleague has really great new shoes and they are red. 70 to 80% of women will then buy red, orange or pink shoes. If you're brand, you were thinking of shoes, you saw those shoes, you like those shoes and you will buy similar shoes. In business it's the same thing. Your boss gives you a project, you know how your boss thinks you kind of know the organizational structure of your company and you will stay thinking in that scheme. In order to break yourself free from it, and, uh, and what you can do is what I tried with Team B, but Team B did not heed my instructions. <laughs> team B got the task to each individually create one and then to come to a conclusion, which means if you work separately first, you're not influenced by the others. You're not influenced by the person who speaks first, or the person who speaks most, or quotes that you've just heard. Yes, Danny? No, it's just, um, does it make a difference to write it down? Because that's actually why I withdrew, because I know this theory. You so. don't have to write down, you could also think of something. It doesn't, the idea is that you think in private before coming to a conclusion. An example is tests they did with juries, you know? You've probably seen American <coughs> movies where there is a 
murder, first degree, and they go, and there's a jury deliberating. The jury recesses, then they come back, and then